Welcome to this video. In the previous video, we learned about quadratic formula. Today, we will see some examples based on it. Tarun spent four hours on a ship where the water flow was three kilometers per hour and the ship ran 20 kilometers downstream and 20 kilometers upstream. When he came back, he sees the captain writing some math equation on paper. When he asks him, What are you doing? Then the captain said that the ship's speedometer is damaged. So he is trying to know the speed of the ship. Will you help the captain in determining the speed of the ship? First, Let's assume that the speed of the ship is x kilometers per hour. According to the example, the flow of water is 3 kilometers per hour. Where the speed of the ship favorable to the stream is equal to x plus 3 kilometers per hour and the speed of the ship unfavorable to the stream is equal to x minus 3 kilometers per hour. The ship moves 20 kilometers favorable to the stream and 20 kilometers against the stream. So the time taken by the ship to go favorable to the stream is equal to 20 by x plus 3 and the time taken to go against the stream is equal to 20 by x minus 3. According to the question, Tarun spent 4 hours on the ship. That is, by simplifying the above equation, we get 40x equal to 4x to the power of 2 minus 36. It is denoted by equation 1, which is a quadratic equation. You must remember what did we do in the previous video to solve this type of question. Well done! For this, compare equation 1 with the general quadratic equation where a equals 4 and b equals minus 40 and c equals negative 36. Place the values of a, b and c in the quadratic formula that is in equation 2 and solve. On solving, we get x equals 5 plus and minus 5.83. That is, x equals minus 0 0.83 or x equals 10.83. Because x is the speed of current, therefore it cannot be negative. Hence, we leave the value x equals minus 0 0.83. So we get from x equals 10.83 that the speed of the ship is 10.83 kilometers per hour. Today, in this video, we learn to solve a quadratic equation by the quadratic formula. In the following video, we will see what can be some common mistakes while solving these types of questions.